It can be hard to keep some extra change in your pocket, even more so during the holiday season. Bank of North Dakota's Josiah Rouser is back with more ways to save money. In the previous segment, we discussed the lowest risk options for saving money, checking and savings accounts, money market accounts, and certificates of deposit. As we mentioned, everyone is different in how they approach this question, and you need to make sure you are comfortable with any method you choose. In this session, we'll cover two more ways, a brokerage account or an exchange traded fund. A brokerage account allows you to access financial markets and invest in stocks, bonds, currencies, mutual funds, exchange traded funds, and more. You have pretty quick access to withdraw funds when needed, but it may be riskier depending on the investments you make. They typically work well for goals where you might take risks to achieve large gains like buying a second home. The returns are variable and not guaranteed, and you should understand financial markets before choosing this option. An exchange traded fund, or ETF, is collection of investment vehicles, possibly including stocks, bonds, and commodities. Since they are a diverse group of investment, they are considered less volatile than if it was one specific stock. ETFs are bought and sold on exchanges and are lower fee vehicles than mutual funds and can, be, can provide broad investment diversification. They are best used for longer term goals such as a child's education or starting a business. I'm Josiah Rouser with Bank of North Dakota. Thanks for watching. To watch this segment again or for more finance tips, head over to kxnet.com.